this is the first question for the day define or like which of the following defines sepsis according to sepsis 3 criteria so we know that we follow the sepsis 3 criteria for definition and diagnosis of sepsis let us see the options the option number one is suspected or documented infection plus two sopa points right the option number two is suspected or documented infection plus need for vasopressors to maintain mean atrial pressure of more than 65 millimeters of mercury and serum lactate under two millimoles per liter despite adequate hydration that's the second option the third option is suspected or documented infection plus two search criteria and the last option is all of the above right i think the last option is something that all of us can confidently rule out we have to pick one between the first three options right so let us see how do we define sepsis according to sepsis 3 sepsis 3 defines sepsis as suspected or documented infection plus acute rise in sopa score by more than or equal to two points now this way of definition is very important because when i say acute rise in sofa score by more than or equal to two points i'm making sure that we are not considering those patients who have a baseline sofa score more than zero because now what goes into making the sofa points your renal dysfunction your cns dysfunction your hematological abnormalities your liver dysfunction like these points go into making the sofa points so if the patient is already having a baseline hematological disorder a baseline renal disorder or a baseline cns disorder in those cases they will have a SOFA score which is not less than 1. Right? They will have 1 or more than 1 score. Their SOFA score will be more than 0. And such patients, if you just blandly follow the approach saying the suspected or documented infection plus 2, two SOFA points, in that case then you are over diagnosing sepsis in all those patients. Right? So and recognition of sepsis in those patients precisely is very very important because those are the risk groups for sepsis. Right? So that's why this is the ideal definition. Acute rise in SOFA score by more than or equal to 2 points. If patient has baseline comorbidities, in that case, his SOFA score will be whatever, like 4 or 5. And then if it increases by 2 points, 4 becomes 6 or 5 becomes 7, then it is a case of sepsis, right? Okay, now let us go back to the options and address it. Option C is definitely something which we can confidently rule out. We no longer follow the SIRS criteria. Option B is typical definition of septic shock, right? It is a definition of septic shock. This is how we define shock, right, in sepsis. Suspected or documented infection plus need for vasopressors to maintain either mean atrial pressure of more than 65 millimeters of mercury or serum lactate under 2 millimoles per liter. Right. So there is emphasis on using serum lactate as a marker of hypoperfusion. Okay. This definition is also very, very important for us to understand because if a patient comes to you with a suspected or a documented infection and the patient is in hypotension, at this point of time, you cannot call it a septic shock. Okay. Because you have to first address the fluid deficit, correct the fluid deficit and despite that the patient continues to be in hypotension. Like you are requiring, despite fluid resuscitation, patient is requiring inotropes to maintain the BP with a mean arterial pressure target of more than 65 millimeters of mercury. Or you are achieving the mean arterial pressure of 65 millimeters of mercury but still there is evidence of tissue hypoperfusion because the serum lactate is not coming under 2 millimoles per liter. Then it is a case of septic shock. Merely presentation in the form of Hypotension does not define sepsis and you you probably agree with me a lot of patients who come to the emergency, emergency room with Infection or suspected or documented infection and they are in hypotension most of them might respond well to fluid resuscitation You you challenge the fluids and their BP starts normalizing then it is not a case of septic shock clear Okay, so this is option B is septic shock only option A makes sense though not in perfect terms It makes sense suspected or documented infection well plus any two SOPA points, at least for someone who doesn't have comorbidities and has a baseline SOPA score of zero, option A defines sepsis in them, right? So I will pick up option A as the correct answer from these options. If there was another option which was talking about acute rise in SOPA score by more than or equal to two points in a patient with suspected or documented infection, I would have leaned towards that option as the right one, clear? Okay.